Hello, this is the instructor's introduction to the Composition and Design Learning Unit. So there are three parts to this learning unit, and I'm going to go over all three parts. And what I suggest you do is review all three parts before getting into any of the homework projects. So of course you're going to want to read the text. We've got a video that's about five minutes long where Andres Gursky is talking about his creative process. Some really cool information that you're going to want to read about what makes a great photograph. Talking about um, the picture as a playground. And again, this learning unit is really focusing on composition and design. And so, you know, how do we look at photographs? Um, how do we make photographs when thinking about what's the photograph about, the main subject, all of these different uh, concepts to consider, review, and read. There's two required readings for this learning unit, so you're going to want to download the PDF and review that information. And a lot of the homework assignments reflect back to the contents of these required readings. We'll be covering the 10 keys of composition, and you'll be reflecting on the concepts of these 10 keys in the homework projects for this learning unit. So we'll be talking about simplicity, frame within a frame, rule of thirds, and all this information is covered in the lecture. So the lecture is 44 minutes long for part one, and you're going to want to review that and really pay attention to the concepts that I'm discussing in this lecture. I've also included a PDF of the lecture so you can go through that on us in your at your own pace. There's some really great terms and vocabulary that I want you to know about for this learning unit and of course I've included some websites that will help further define these terms. A bunch of really cool helpful links so you might want to review these as well. These are not required but they're all really helpful in understanding the concepts of design and composition. There's the first homework project uh, with a video with the requirements. I'm asking you to think about these different keys of composition. So you're going to want to Watch this video to have a better understanding of this homework discussion post and how to respond to the prompts. And then there's part one. Again, there's a video where I talk about uh, what you should be covering for the vocabulary for this uh, discussion post. And then moving on to part two. More information about kind of the techniques of how you use your camera regarding f-stop, motion, stopping motion, ISO, lighting, composition, basically the foundations of making a really great photograph. And there's a cool um, video that you'll want to watch that's five minutes where Stephen Shore is talking about his creative process. The second required meeting, reading is seeing like a camera, so you're going to want to download that and review the information. And here's part two, where I continue to talk about composition and design and go into different details. Um, it's about 40 minutes long and again a PDF if you want to slowly go through the information. This is the list of artists that you're going to be using for this learning unit. And again, I've kind of given a short description of what their work is like. And these links take you to the different photographers' work. So it gives you a, a starting point for your research for the homework projects for this learning unit. And I've included a lot of really great photographers. So you have about 72 different photographers to reference and get inspired by for this learning unit. I'm going to ask you to talk about and consider the quality of light, and that's also discussed in the lecture. And then the critique format. These are just really helpful information for you to consider when you're making your photographs. Something to also think about is like, who's your intended audience? So you might make photographs 
differently depending upon who is going to be looking at your images. And a bunch of helpful links here as well. For part two, you're going to be submitting um, a project outline, which will be covered. There's details here, so you're going to want to watch this video and review um, the ideas that I'm asking you to consider for the elements that I want you to think about when it comes to composition and design, researching an artist, and then really coming up with a plan as far as to like what you're going to be making your photographs, where, what time of day, the subject matter, and you'll be submitting a sample photo to get some feedback on, mostly by your classmates while giving you some cool um, constructive well, I'll be giving you, sorry, um, some cool constructive feedback. And then, of course, there's a quiz that references the reading and the lecture. And then finally, the third part of this learning unit, Composition to Design. Again, there's a video that you're going to want to watch where I talk about the elements and the homework projects for the last part of this learning unit where you're basically going to be reviewing all of the information that I've covered, which is great to go back and reference the readings and the videos and the artists, the ideas for critiquing your work and your classmates work, and then the homework projects. Again, there's a detailed video that goes over the requirements of what's expected for this assignment. And then finally, there's um, a reflection and also a video that I discuss the details. So I hope you enjoy this learning unit and always feel free to ask me any questions. Thank you.